smell the blood. I'm smelling the purity of the wire. How's it going, guys? Back from the Bay Vaping <laughs> Channel. Um, how are you all doing tonight? Myself, Rian. Back at you guys with another coil review from the coil company. Shout out to that guy, uh, Rian. Um, making not awesome, me. not not not, not this Rian, <laughs> another Rian. Um, making awesome, awesome coils. He uh, sent us through of his uh, coils again. And uh, yeah, we'll dive down and show you guys what it's all about. Um, he did send us a, a set of frame staple and um, a set of phalians. Phalians. Phalians, sorry. Phalians. But yeah, we'll dive down and show you guys what it's all about and what the coils are about and everything like that. Check you guys on the flip side. Okay, so what's up? So today we're going to do a review on some nice coils from the quill company. And this coils that I've got here is a set of Fralians. I'll open it now. Um, the Fralians consist of 4 times 0 0.4 and 2 times 26 and then wrapped with 36 on the outside. And it's six wraps with a three millimeter ID. And then uh, if you run it on single coil. Okay, so today we're going to do some reviews on coils. The coils were sent by the coil company. And the coil in my hand, or the coils in my hand, is a set of Fralians. Um, there's four times 0 0.4 and two times 26. Um, and it's wrapped with 36 gauge on the outside. It's a 6 wrap, 3 millimeter ID. And then if you use it in a single coil, um, it will be running plus minus 0 0.19 to 0 0.22. Um, but I'm going to set it up in a dual coil on the drop. And normally on a dual coil, it will be running anything from 0 0.09 to 0 0.12. Um, now one thing that I've realized is if you run it on the WISMIC reload the WISMIC doesn't like sub ohm coils or going mm, below I've also noticed that 0 0.15 so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to put it on my G-Box so it looks like. Let's just quickly clean this up. So I'll be putting it on my G box, and then the G box G box will be able to handle the squalls without getting hot. So let me show you the squalls. So uh, this is what we're working with, a nice set of Fralians. I can tell you one thing, these quills are so beautiful, I actually feel bad. Vaping them. Yeah. It's like forbidden fruit almost. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff is really, I don't know if it's, is it zooming in properly? Focusing. Okay, Just look there. Amazing, amazing. So beautiful. So yeah, I'll be popping this in my drop. And then we'll see what it's going to give us. You know a lesson I learned, brother, the other day? Yeah. Um, if you take your coil jig, the one from Coil Master, yeah. and you cut your coils in line with this piece here. Yeah. It fits in your, uh, your drop perfectly. What do you mean? Yes. If you... So put it, no, no, put it over, yeah? Yeah. And then you cut it flush along like that. Oh. Let's do it. Let's put it to the test. 
never too, never too old to learn something new. So we're going to take Warren's advice and then we're going to just to make sure that they are even. Did you hear that? I heard that. Eye protection guys, eye protection. I just assassinated Warren's budgie. Not. He doesn't have one. <laughs> it's like... The stuff is like <laughs> missiles. You're going to have to go later and find all of them, right? Because if uh, people walk around barefoot, that's not going to be very fun. No. It's not going to be funny at all. So going to pop it in like that. There's still a slight bit of overhang at the bottom, yeah, but, but you yeah. have to lift it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you have to lift it up. Where's my magic screw with it? My magic The reason why I do it like that is to make sure that my gap at the bottom of the posts are even. Just the way I'd like to do things. If you've got a different way to do it, then you do it your way. I wonder if we can get Coilmaster out to send us one of their nice setups so they're one of their bags that have got all the tools and everything like that already in there for us yeah you know we support them um, a lot of the tools that we use here are from their company so it would be nice if we could organize something like that eh? oops that's a little bit too close for comfort Properly, no? It would help. Yeah, definitely. Remember, remember what happened last time? Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't clip the flipping bottoms or the the tails. I felt the like legs. Such an idiot, you know. This is something you do every single day, and then on camera you've. And the video was recorded in such a way that I wasn't in the mood of redoing it again. So I believe that will do. Oh, it looks good. So let's get rid of that. Axis. That's the nice thing about the drop, that the pliers fit in, uh, the, your wire cutters fit in there quite nicely. I must actually get myself some new pliers because this stuff is yeah. worked out to the extreme. Is your sleeve also coming loose? Probably will eventually. Yeah, like I said, man, it's worked out. So I have to replace it some other time. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Looks good. No, it looks good. So, yeah. Let's 
Okay, we'll tell you that. Other jammies of yours. No, my mum knows I smoke every now and then, but. Okay, so um, I've speeded up this process because uh, normally with big coils like this, there's a lot of dry heats, and like you can see, all the uh, uh, dry spots, not dry heats, dry spots, so all the dry spots are out. Um, it's creating that nice blue color that you would like to see on coils, especially when it's nichrome 80. And this thing is good to go. Sorry, there went a bit out of focus, but we're back in focus now. Huh? Cool. So then we're going to wick it. Going to put some. Can't see. Kendo. Yeah. Cotton. Gold edition. Kendo. That's what I prefer. Warren on the other side, he's a Cotton Bacon Prime fan. That stuff's nice, but Cotton Bacon Prime. You can wick anything and you won't get dry yet. And it's the same with the Kendo. You just need to know how to wick it. That's the main thing. So the idea here is to, to basically get your cotton, the way I do it, the rule of thumb, where you put your cotton through so it doesn't move your coils. Yeah. Um, but it's also, when you pull it on the one side, it should move your mod. Yeah, this mod is big, so I won't be trying it, otherwise I'll jack I mean, up that's, my... That's my rule of thumb when I work. I mean, it does the job yeah. for me. Uh, basically mine as well, so... so we just yeah, if you guys have any questions about wicking and all of that stuff, or what sort of um, tanks to get and all of that, or mods or whatever, you know, you guys must speak to us. Pop us a message in the comments and let us know what you think. Or what you want, or any info, or anything like that. We are more than willing to help. I think I've got it dead too short, but it's still good. It will do the job. So, I'm going to put some from the Quill Company. We're still going to do a review on this. Some scotches on there. This stuff is Gold. divine. Divine. I love it a lot. Now, once again, you don't need to do all this wetting of the entire week. That's just the way I am. That's the way I do it. That's the way I prefer it. And it works for me. And I must say, I'm, I really enjoy it this, like this. Then I know when I start vaping. Is ready right off the bat. Just look very at that. nice, very, very nice. Let me just zoom in there quickly. Just turn it on its side. Me on its side. Okay. That, yeah. That's good. Let me show you guys there. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful coils. Shout out to the coil company again. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's uh, let's first show you. So it's coming in at 0 0.26, like they've said. Um, 
on the dual coil you'll be running between um, zero point zero nine or zero point one two. I'm getting it at zero point two six so yeah. Well, I'll unscrew it and then put it back on and see what it does. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Zero. So if I put it back on, there you go, zero point one one. That's better. So zero point one one, nice. And uh, hundred and twenty watts. What's your voltage? You can push it up to hundred and thirty if you want to, but I mean, guess not. Yeah, the voltage is um, three point seven volts. Now I prefer when I vape. Um, I prefer it at 4.2 volts and I set of course like this normally. So it's plus minus 150 watts and that will do the trick. That's a really really nice hot, not hot but a warm vape. Yeah, and that's the way I like it. Oh. Not everybody like it like that but I like it like that. Just to ensure that there's no juice in my well. So yeah, good to give go. It a, give it a fire up before you put the cap on. Look at that. And it's quick, eh? Yeah. Very, very quick. Ramp the, up time is very quick. Uh, I love that ramp up time in this G-Box. So, let's yeah, take let's, it on top and... Well, we still need to do mine. We still need to do yours. Yeah, we still need to do the frame staples. Sorry about that. So let's do it on a G-Box as well. Let's do the frame staple. Hold on, we'll be back now guys. Okay, so back. Okay, so this quilts is the frame staples. Just get it there. Very, very fine outer wire that he's using there. Yeah, it's a 40 gauge. So it's um, four times zero point four ribbon, ribbon, and then two times twenty six on the outer, and then um, wrapped with forty gauge. Nice. And it's a six wrap, a three millimeter ID, and then on single coil it will be running between one point or uh, zero point one seven and zero point two. And then in dual, it will be running between 0 0.08 and 0 0.11. Nice. So it's very low, low, low. Uh, and we'll be building these coils on the dead rabbit. Um, also a very nice uh, deck to build on. Um, and hopefully we will get the uh, drop dead soon and uh, review that. Yeah, that will be nice. I'm actually looking forward to the drop dead. And I'm also looking forward to the, the dead rabbit RTA. I am as well. I am as well, I must be honest. So, your trick, does it work for the... Yeah, it works for any... Well, I can't say any, but I mean, works for most. Why didn't you do that just now, brother? Hmm? Why didn't you do that just now? Hold the wire before you skit it all over the place. So now I'm going to be walking barefoot through here just now, and I'm going to have a piece of wire stuck in my foot. And then when you cry, you can think of me and... Just got attacked.
for a little bit of the background noise, uh, noise guys. I have some visitors over. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just trying to get this cool to ah there it goes. Tying this down quickly. And the nice thing is, um, you must actually see if you can get your coils sitting a little bit higher. Usually, for the simple reason, oh, come on, for the simple reason, the higher you can get it to the mouthpiece, the more flavor, the more flavor you will get out of your walls at the end of the day. But you must also keep in mind is if it's sitting too high, then the juice have a longer route to travel to get to the coils so you don't want to make it sit too high you also don't want to let, let it sit too low too close to the deck If you do, don't do that because that doesn't feel nice when doing it. You get that burning sensation in your finger, and it's not a nice thing to deal with. What is it? Yes, I think, okay. think of replacing your. Screws. And then screws, yeah. Use this. Because... Yeah, this is better. Well, my Allen key is just worn out. I was quite a I changed those screws the other day.
And do you get it? You're touching each other there. Yeah, we'll sort it out now. We will sort it out now. Now look at that color. Hmm? Isn't it amazing? I can't really see it on this camera. So there it is, this wicket you have some of your cotton jammies here with you. Show the people how it looks like, what? Hmm? How far can you zoom into that thing? No, we're not staying in Japan, and that wasn't an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> it was one shifting the camera. And now he's creating an, a massive cloud structure. Seriously? And you need to do it now. Very nice. Looking so pretty. There's your cotton. Take back your cotton. What's left of it? Yeah. So we're just going to cut the legs and then we are the tails. Tails, legs, tails. It's not the same thing. Leggy tails. What do you call it? Tails. Why do you call it tails? It's the tail of the cotton. Oh. But I'm Afrikaans, huh? You must understand. Um, so what would you call it in Afrikaans? Then? Ipanta. <laughs> That's points, brother. <laughs> if you directly translate it. Yeah, but you're not supposed to directly translate it. The ends. The ends. Yeah. I'm not that Afrikaans stupid. is a weird language if you think about it. Eh? So is English. That's yeah, so Afrikaans for some of this. Because I mean, if you think about an Afrikaans language, there's like one saying for many things. In an English language, there's one saying for one thing, but a different saying for something similar. Yeah. So what juice do you want on you? Uh, let's put the same. Scotties. Nice Scotties. From the Quill Company. I think when we come back on, up on top, maybe we can review this quickly, eh? Yeah, why not? Let's want to do uh, two birds with one stone. That's actually a very, very nice idea. Look at that. 
nice and juiced up. And I don't care what anybody says, the drop dead, well, we haven't tried the drop dead, but the dead rabbit and the drop are one of the best drippers that you can get out there. Um, not, not, I mean, they're one of the best. Yeah. I want to agree on that one. You know, I just love my drop, and you know that I love my drop. Um, Look at that. And I've got the, the goon as well, and there's Look, the, the e curve, and. But I just prefer sticking to the. to the, the good drop. stuff. Yeah. So there it is. Let's take it on top and show you guys what it's about. Not yes. show you guys what it's about. Tell you what it's about. Yeah. Check you on top, guys. It's back on top, guys. And that was uh, the Quill Company coils and the Scotty's juice, which we're going to do a review mm -hmm. now on. Yes. Um, but let's take a discussion on these coils quickly, will I? What uh, is your thoughts and your feedback? And and the coils looks awesome. They do. They really, they really, really do. look nice. Um, they perform well. Mm. They fire nice. The color on them is nice. Um, I haven't really tried mine yet. I'll give mine a whip now. A rip now, shall I say. That's good now. It really, really is good. Well, it. 150 watts is actually a little bit. I'm going to take it down at 140. And I must oh, say. Mine, mine on the drag is uh, sitting on 130, but mine is reading at 0 0.10, which is just below or just above sub Or is it sub I think sub is 0 0.10. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting on just sub um, and we are sitting just above sub -own. But yeah, man, like these coils are awesome, mate. They really are. The, 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 he's, he's using kidney puncher wire. Um, okay, did by Sunfuck and yeah, Sweden. Yeah. And smelted in the USA. Milled, yeah. milled Melt. salt um, in the USA. And this wire, I'm telling you, it's, it's really, really, really good, guys. And the guy from Coil Company, Rian, Man, the stuff that you're doing with this wire is awesome. Yeah. It really, really yeah. is awesome. You know, I've back now, and instant flavor. Oh yeah, definitely. And definitely. a lot of flavor. It is a flavor explosion in my mouth. And especially with that juice. Oh, oh yeah. man, I'm telling you. It's like... Eating the actual biscuit instead of wiping it. Mm. That's the feeling that I get from it. And it's really good. On a scale from 0 to 10, if I have to rate this falls, 9. Easy, brother. Easy, easy, nine, easy, easy. I mean, I've tried some of the, the, the uh, demon killer coils on this. No offense to you guys, but yes, like those things are crap. Um, this guy from Rian out in Western Cape, he is doing some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go and check out some of these coils. I know a lot of the vendors out there do stock their coils. Um, so yeah, guys, definitely go and check this, this guy's coils out. He's doing some awesome stuff. And um, on that note, I think uh, let's let's give the juice a review as well while we are the yeah. company. I, I actually want to show the answer. Can you post me a chip, please? Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. So anyway, while we're getting the T-shirt and everything ready, um, we will be doing uh, this juice over here, Scotty's by the Coil Company. Um, he sent us um, this juice for the purpose of the review. <coughs> um, as you can see, um, what's basically left is Rian's. 
because I couldn't help myself. Um, it's that good, guys. I mean, this has lasted me a week. Um, so yeah, I heard that he's releasing another one called Minties or something like that. Nice. Which is basically this, but with a, a um, like a mint biscuit type thing. Yeah. Which I'm also keen to try. Um, but this is... Can you give me another bottle? Yeah, that? no, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Ariel, just to show you quickly. Um, this is our t-shirt that we supposed to put on. <laughs> <laughs> and at the bottom... Proudly sponsored by the Quill Company. This guy is awesome, guys. You must really, really go and try out his coils. He's doing some really good stuff there. Really, really good stuff. And his juice is also... It's amazing. I mean, this juice is a... It's called Scotty's Butterscotch Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, the labeling is perfect. Um, and then your ingredients, vegetable glycerin, Propylene glycol, natural flavorings, artificial flavorings, nicotine if stated, warnings, keep out of reach of children and pets, must be 18 or older, do not drink, shake well before use, and uh, not for sale to person under the age of 18. And no vaping pregnant woman only. No vaping pregnant woman only. And uh, the foil label that they've put on here is extremely nice. Eh? Yeah. It really is. It gives it that... Scottish, Old, yeah, the Scottish feel to it, yeah. um, which is very, very nice. And then obviously their logo there at the bottom, yeah. uh, Quill Company. Um, look, I mean, we've we've tried this juice now. Um, we haven't done a drop test. We haven't done a drop test, but um, vaping it is awesome. It really is. Um, That butterscotch comes through very, very nicely, eh? Yeah. It really does. I can tell you this. It actually tastes much better when you vape it. When you, yes, yes, when you taste it. Yeah, no, it definitely does. And after, you sort of get that sweet vanilla yeah. ice cream after the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah guys, I, I don't taste too much biscuit, a little bit of biscuit. On the vaping side, you know, in the inner you get this nice um, butterscotch effect and on the exhale you get this solid biscuit -y. You're right, you're right. Feeling. It's like a, a and creamy biscuit. Yeah, and it's all layered off with this vanilla bean ice cream mm. sitting in on your palate and I must say this is a solid well balanced juice definitely something different from the last couple of juices that mm, we've no, definitely, definitely and is. Um, I'm glad that we're vaping something else than fruities and ice mm, and no definitely, definitely um, it's nice, I mean I love my bakeries I love my yeah. bakeries and um, not to say that I dislike fruits, but I mean, my preference is bakeries. Um, look, over the past reviews that we've done, I've tasted some really, really nice fruits as well. Yeah. Um, but the Scotty's is awesome. It really is. Guys, I'm going to give this rating 8.5. Um, reasoning? I don't have a reason for some reason. I'm going to give it a 9 as well. As well? Oh, uh, also the quills. Yeah, 9 for the quills, 9 for the juice. Well done, Ian. Yeah? This is awesome. I like it. And I'm definitely... On Monday, I'm going to pick myself up another Not one. Another really. <laughs> no, no, definitely. This stuff's <laughs> some. And yeah, Ryan, if you can hook us up with uh, that Minties that you're busy working on. We'll gladly review that for you as well, man. Yeah. Um, you're doing an awesome job with your juices and your coils. Guys, please, please, please go and support this guy. He's really, really doing some good stuff out there.
Um, but yeah, I think that's it for, for the Quill Company. Um, thank you again, Rian, for sponsoring us. No, thanks a um, lot. We really appreciate it. And uh, we hope to see more of you soon. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Over and out, guys. From us at the Bay Vaping Channel, check you guys on the flip side. Cheers.